Hi, the section 9.1, an example. So we use simulated income data uh, because the textbook uses some data, but uh, uh, it does not make much sense to use the gamma GLM. So I just created a data there which is suitable for the gamma GLM. So the thing about the income distribution of a country, for example, United States, that is the very the skewed distribution. A very small number of people earn a lot of money and the majority of people earn a small amount of money. And the income distribution is often similar to the chi-square distribution. So chi-square distribution also has the uh, parameter, but uh, typically like this. So maybe a little more skew like this. And this is actually the special case of the gamma distribution. And the chi-square distribution have one parameter k and expect, ex, expectation of chi-square k is equal to k. And this is actually the sum of the k um, independent and identically distributed the standard normal random variables. But only, anyway, so this is um, a special case of gamma with the, this relationship, the parameter nu is equal to k over two. So this is the exponent, the uh, power part of the y. And then the nu over mu, this is the exponential part, the coefficient of the exponential part, that is one half. And here k is a parameter. Yeah, so if, yeah, and if we think about the um, data, of several countries and each country have the expected value of income and also the distribution, the this chi-square distribution. Then the error is not distributed normal, but uh, distributed as chi-square. So the gamma GLM, that should work better than linear model, for example. So we generate the random variables in that way, so yij, I is country and J is the J's observation within the country. We define this as the random variable, the 2,500 times I times the chi-square four. So chi-square four has mean four, expectation is four. Expectation of this is four. So the I is equal to one, then expectation of YIJ is equal to 10,000. I is equal to two, then expectation is 20,000 and the three and the four, 30 and 40,000. And the, we generate 30, da 30 data points for each the country. So we have four countries, one, two, three, four, and then we have 30 observations each. So that is the data we generated. Then the expectation of Y is proportional to I. So we just defined the expectation of the Y is equal to the 10,000 for I is equal to one, 20,000 for I is equal to two, and the 30,000 for I is equal to three and so on. So um, actually the EY is proportional. So EY is 10,000 times I. So this relationship between Y and I are linear. So in that sense, probably the gamma GLM with identity link, the eta is equal to mu, oh, sorry, this is the mu eta. Eta is equal to mu should fit better than the linear model. Yeah, so now that we use the simulated data, so we set seed first, then we have the 30 observations each and in total 30 times four, so 120 observations. And for each country that we generate random variable, that is the chi-square random variable with degrees of freedom four, then we multiply 2,500 for i is equal to one and 5,000 for i is equal to two and so on. Then we have in total the 120 observations, 30 observations each for four countries. And we make box plot, then box plot looks like this. So basically that this is proportional, but you can see that we have many outliers here uh, because the 
distribution within a country is chi-square, so not the symmetric. So the, um, if we use usual box plot, um, then we only have outliers on the upper side of the distribution. So linear regression should not work well in this case because of the error distribution. So this is the linear regression result. Intercept is almost zero. I mean, the negative, the 1,900, but standard deviation is large. So remember that basically Y is approximately the 10,000 times I. So intercept is around zero, that is reasonable. And the coefficient is 11,000 and the standard error, the 1,600. So it's around 10,000, so that's reasonable and a t-value 6.806. And the, yeah, we have several um, um, statistics. So residual standard error. So standard size of error is the 20,000, 160. And AIC, basically this is the fit. AIC is the 2,723. So this will be compared with the GLM, gamma GLM later. Okay, but anyway, uh, still that we can detect the significant significance for the coefficient for country that is around the 11,000. So that's uh, reasonable compared to the truth. Yeah, so another way to fit the linear regression is to take log of income first. So you can see in the box plot that the income is skewed to the right. So if we take logarithm or square root or any the convex function, then it becomes more normal. And since we have taken logarithm, the estimates are totally different. So intercept 8.3 and the coefficient for country 0 0.54. And the T value is a little more significant, uh, probably because the log transformation is more appropriate, appropriate than doing nothing. These numbers are not comparable because we are using log scale. Also, we, I didn't calculate AIC because anyway, it's not comparable. So the Y has been changed. So the AIC uh, cannot be uh, compared. So next one is the gamma GLM with identity link. So GLM and the family gamma then link identity. Then, okay, so coefficients are, are kind of similar to linear regression. In a linear regression, we have a different coefficient. So the first coefficient was actually the negative in a linear regression, LM1, negative 1,951, and the coefficient 11204. So slight, slightly different. Actually, it gets uh, actually a better direction. So intercept, the true intercept is zero and the true coefficient for country is the 10,000. So it approaches to the truth. And also the standard deviation is a kind of small and the T value more significant. And not much, but the 6.8 becomes 7.2. And AIC, the 2,633. So this was previously in a linear model, the 2,723. So this is pretty large improvement. So improvement of 90. So smaller one, AIC is better. Yeah, and the dispersion parameter, dispersion parameter is phi. We have two ways. The one way is that we use chi-square statistic and divide by n minus p. And the, the other way is the maximum likelihood estimator. And the, these two are similar, and the fee is around 0 0.5 something. And also that we try the gamma GLM with log link. So due to the data generating process, probably the identity link is better, but the, we do this also. So link logarithm then we get the intercept and the country. And this is actually the more comparable to the linear regression with the logged response. And actually these numbers are similar to the 
linear regression with the logged response. And the, this number was the, uh, in linear model, the 8.36 and 0 0.54. And the numbers are similar and the key value more significant. So that we have the smaller standard error. So it's slightly more um, reliable estimate. And AIC, the 2,634. So it's similar to the previous one um, and the better than the linear regression. So even though this is a log scale, the still the response variable is, is income itself. So we can compare, for example, AIC. And actually this one, a little more significant, the coefficient for country, and we don't really know the reason. So this is just a sample data with, with a small sample size. So um, it, anything can happen. Okay, so even simulated data. But the AIC is actually the um, beta for the previous one. So it's a kind of consistent, but it's really similar. So lastly, that we think about the estimated mean and variance. So we pick the gamma GLM with identity link and the, what's the estimate? So yeah, basically we have the four countries and the true income level in simulation is 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, and 40,000. And we estimated the parameter, so intercept and the slope. So the, if we use that model, then approximately we get the, those values. So the truth is 10,000 and the fitted value is 9,781. And the truth is 20,000 and the estimated value is 2,550. So both all are reasonable. The both slope and the intercept are reasonable. And this is actually similar if we use the linear regression also. I haven't reported it, but the, uh, it's similar. Maybe slightly the, um, inaccurate. And next we think about the standard deviation. So the standard deviation, so the variance of y was the square of expectation the divided by parameter nu. So standard deviation of y is expectation of y over the square root of nu. And the square root of nu, one over square root of nu is the square root of phi. So basically, if we multiply expectation of y, so that is fitted value, times the square root of the dispersion parameter, then we get the standard deviation. And you can see that the standard deviations are different depending on the country. So if expectation is higher, the standard deviation is proportionally higher. So the first one, the first country, the standard deviation is 7,450, but the last one, it's much larger, the 32,000. And this is actually the more consistent with the data. If we use the linear model that we estimate the sigma for the same, the same sigma for all countries, but that is certainly not correct if we see the data. We have larger variation for uh, larger number in the country. Yeah, and the, actually in linear model, the sigma is fixed. So the, this is the estimated sigma, that is the 20,160. But in the gamma GLM, the standard deviation also depends on the mean. So the, this is actually estimated the more accurately. So this is an example of gamma GLM.